so today I'm coming at you with a very highly requested video. This video was requested a hell of a lot more than I thought it would have been. I don't really know why you guys are so interested, but I have just decided to do it again today. So, back by popular demand, here is my updated What's on My Phone 2014. So the last time I did this video, I think it was either 2011 or 2012, a lot has changed then. That video, I'll look back on it, it got a lot of views for the time that I was posting it when I had around 2,000 subscribers. Um, it's now at something like 10,000 plus views. I don't really know why that went so high, but it did. Anyway, today straight up is my 2014 updated What's on My iPhone video, starting completely fresh. So this is my phone. It is an iPhone 5, not a 5S, not a 5C. It is a 5 and it is the black one, as you can see. If you've watched my collective haul recently, you'd know that this is quite a recent thing for me. It is secondhand from my dad, but he'd only had it for about six months, and then he obviously, he got himself the iPhone 5S, so I got this because my iPhone 4, which you would have seen in my previous video, has actually had its time, it's done, um, it was extremely slow, too, sh too slow for me, and I needed a new phone, so I got this one, I'm very happy with it. I love the features of this phone, I love the weight of it. When I felt the difference, I could not believe it. It was This is half the weight, it's awesome. I love the resolution of the front-facing camera and the back-facing camera. I love Siri. I know people just sort of buy it and it was like gets really excited about Siri, but I've actually been using Siri a lot. When I need to book something in my calendar or set a reminder, I will ask Siri because it's just quicker to do than put in the time, the day, alarm. It just quickly says, Siri, set me alarm for 6 p.m. tomorrow done and she's she's done it so that's what I love about this phone in general now what's on my phone my case at the minute is this one now I've only got one case for my iPhone at the minute because I had loads well not loads I had probably about seven for my iPhone 4s and then obviously I changed this phone I got this case off of eBay and it is called a birdcage case if you guys were wondering it's very easy to take off and on it is actually see-through um, so I suppose the protection isn't exactly the best, but for me, I haven't dropped it yet and I haven't got a scratch on it. It's really great. I love the idea, like the illusion of how this looks, and the reason why I picked this case and how I found it sort of thing is because obviously if you watch Pretty Little Liars, you'll know this case is Hannah's case. I'm really sorry if you can hear that. It's just started raining and it's whacking against the window and I'm pretty sure it's going to pick up on the mic, so I'm really sorry about that. That's why I got the inspiration to get this case because of a character on Pretty Little Liar. She has this case in neon pink, and I wanted it in the softer pink. The seller on eBay I will list down below. They do a whole range all the way from green, orange, purple, blue, every other colour you can think of. It was around £1.50 or £1.99, something like that, and it came with also a free stylus that goes in your... Um, headphone jack that sort of dangles off, which I do still use. The paint, has, the paint has come off a bit on that, but I do actually use it for my games when I'm like on my way to college, and it is really, really good. I do like that. I prefer it than using my finger for a game. The material, by the way, is a that sort of like rubbery plastic, which is nice. It's, it seems more high quality. But the only downside to that plastic is it picks up dirt a lot quicker. You're not going to be able to see it on camera because obviously I got the very, very bright white light which will enhance it and make it look brighter. But um, it does st it's starting to gather a tiny bit of dirt. Um, but if it gets too dirty, just order another one. It's one pound. You can't really go wrong. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go on to what is actually on my phone. So I'm going to change the position for you guys so you can see it a lot more clearer. Okay, so here's a better view so you can see exactly what's going on on my phone. So if we first turn it on, you can see I've got this lovely picture of a Mac. It's a Mac keyboard here with a Eiffel Tower on it. And I just really like that because as you can see from the background here, I love light pink things. Um, and I just thought it was very feminine and it goes with the case. This is up close of the case if you guys are wondering. So if we turn it on, I'm just going to put in my password so you guys are going to wait a second. So there we go. This is what the home screen looks like. It is just... I like leaving it as the phone comes when you first get it, like contacts, pictures, all that. I like leaving the front page as it is. I know some people just like it as folders, some people like it as different things, but I personally just like it as it was. So obviously I've got contacts, photos, 
um, clock and on the clock I've got the world clocks around here London, Kuala Lumpur, Brisbane, Dubai and Amsterdam London because obviously it's where I'm at well England really Kuala Lumpur because that's where my friends are at Brisbane because my best friend lives there Dubai because my dad travels there all the time and Amsterdam because I am going there soon I have a lot of alarms on here as well for when I wake up and things like that I have a calendar which is full up of all my dates so I'm not going to show you that my calculator is super handy weather, I have <laughs> the Amsterdam weather because I'm going on a trip there really soon and I'm super excited with my best girlfriend um, so I've got Amsterdam, I've got Gold Coast because obviously that's where rain lives Kuala Lumpur and Bristol because that's where I'm at. Okay then next up I have maps. I use this all the time. I love the maps app. YouTube but of course because hello what are you watching this on? YouTube so I've got to have that. Um, it's got my account in there as well so I can check up on all my new comments. Camera of course because always taking pictures. App store. My notes. I use that an awful lot. Um, iTunes, Safari, Facebook, Twitter and my email three of the most important ones on there of course my Instagram next up I have snapchat I absolutely love snapchat I have FaceTime which I don't use enough but I do like using it with rain and then of course settings the next page I have my Facebook messenger my eBay which is really important <laughs> dream days which is a app which I really like that this one is 65 days till my 18th birthday um, 205 days till Miranda because I'm going to go see Miranda Hart live in Cardiff and then 98 days till I'm at London oh my gosh and 279 days till Christmas so I really like this app it's a free app if you guys want to get it you can just keep up to date with how long you have until you go to your event so I thought that was a great idea then here I have the future FM it's if you like any sort of um, own DJs, people who make their own music, you will like this. They have a whole smorgasbord of genres on there. You can pick from club to all the way through to classical and opera and things like that and I usually do it for the club because there is some awesome club mixes on there so you can just stream that and you've got a whole bunch of music playing for you then. In shopping I don't have a much. I used to have Nick, Sephora, um, all those sort of websites on here but I never ended up using them on my phone so the only one I actually regularly check on my phone is Woucher because I get emails from them so I just decided to download that and the reason eBay isn't in there is because I'm just used to having it up there quick access um, I like things even as well <laughs> so I didn't like this one just down here on its own I know it's weird but it's an organization thing that's annoying me also as you can see my background is just this blurred glitter because I love glitter the next one up is photography in here I have all the stuff that I use to edit my Instagrams and just my pictures in general to share on social media the first one I have is insta collage if you see any collages on my Instagram it is made with that then I have insta size which is basically where you want to fit a a rectangular picture into a square one so you can put it on Instagram that is what I use also then I have this one which is called Tutasumi or whatever it is it's a Japanese app it's a really great app so if I just pick a picture just give me a minute so I've picked this one of Milo and you can set it to normal resolution or high resolution and if I just do it at high resolution you can adjust the skin tone as well which I just use as a brightening thing you can adjust it all different types and then you come to the main page it's really surprising that this thing is free and you have a whole bunch of different stamps and things you can use on here which I just find absolutely awesome like look at all this you can just add whatever you want on here and you can write and put everything on it and it is totally free so just type in cute and it should come up this next one I have is flip flipgram this is obviously to make little videos for your Instagram with pictures then I have the um, what's this HDR FX Pro it is a paid picture app it's got a whole bunch of different it's, it's obviously very, very good. It's got a whole bunch of different effects on there. And then I have Wallpapers HD, which is where I got these pictures. This and my Paris picture from. They're just HD pictures for your background. Next one up is games. I haven't got that many games, but the games I have, I play a lot. So I've got, obviously, 100 picks, which is just a game where you have a bunch of letters and you guess what it is. I've got Connect the Dots, or whatever it's called. I can't read from the screen, sorry. Match the Dots, which is a fun, sort of quick pace game where you have to match different dots as many as you can. Um, Bubble Mania, I love this game. It's where you've got to shoot the little bubbles and they've got to pop and you have to get them all and everything. Then I have Scoops, which is a game I've had for a very long time. And you basically can just, you have to tilt the phone 
and ice cream will come down and you have to pile it as high as you can like this Ooh, and then obviously you've got to try and avoid the tomatoes and onions that come down if you get three tomatoes or onions it is a strike out then the final game I've just recently downloaded it's guess the emoji and it's where you have like two different pictures and you have to guess what it is guys tell me what this is I don't know what it is it's a rocket and gas please help me out because I've been stuck on it and I can't even find the cheat <laughs> so um, I probably something really simple I thought it was rocket fuel but it's not so I don't know I'm gonna get loads of comments people saying now what it is but um yeah so those are just my five games and I'm not a big game player but it is nice to just play them now and again the next one I have is social this is where I have my four not too much used apps. Um, I have Skype, but of course, Viber to contact my friend, Hot or Not, I love Hot or Not, and Vine. Then, and this one is just random, I have this app which I need to talk to you guys about. My dad showed it, it's called WeQ for You. I think it's an international app basically where you call up, if you're calling up like a service where you need to wait in a line, um, and the line's usually really long, call through this number and it will queue up for you and it will ring you back when the people actually answer. And also the app's really great because you can type in a number that is usually a premium number like 0800 and things like that in the UK. Type it in and it will give you the cheap free equivalent number to use because so some of these obviously services cost you a lot of money. Put it in there and it should come up with the brand new um, number that is cheaper or like included in your phone bill. Next one is find my iPhone. I don't have iCloud so I don't really know why I downloaded that. I thought you could track everybody else so I'm going to probably add my friends on there and let them add me for safety reasons. Then I have Waze. Waze is the most incredible free app out there. If you don't know what it is already you need to get it because especially if you drive or you travel a lot and go to new places it's basically a GPS that speaks to you and it's totally free and it works in any country which is absolutely awesome. Next up is Google. I don't really know why I use that. I use Safari. Then I have App Nana. I got this because of Trisha's video, if you guys have seen that. And it truly isn't what she's explaining. You have to download a lot of rubbish for that and a lot of them are paid so you end up just paying for what you're getting back. So I probably need to delete that. But um, I just wanted to show you and sort of give a quick little thing about my opinion on that. Then I have Shazam. Also, if you don't know what Shazam is, you need to get it. It is basically an app where you can click Shazam and if you're listening to the radio and there's a song you don't know what it's called on there, you can just, it will listen and it'll tell you what it is. Then the final folder is um, unused and it's these rubbish apps which you just can't delete. I find that really, really annoying how you don't have the option to delete them. It's your phone, you should be able to pick and choose what you want on there. So I had to create a separate folder full of all these things that I don't like. So anyway, yeah, put them there and I never use them. Then for the bottom bar, I just have messages, WhatsApp, because obviously I have a lot of international friends. I use WhatsApp a hell of a lot because obviously it's free. Um, messages for people here, music, of course, and my phone. So guys, that was it for what's on my iPhone 2014. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was all you were hoping for. If you have any questions about any of the apps on here, then make sure you let me know. Also, if you have any recommendations for apps you think I might like. I'm not a massive gamer, but I do like the occasional game. That's why I have a few games on there. Just sort of if you can think, you see all those apps and you think, oh, I think Amy would really like this app. Just comment it down below and I'll have a look at it. So thank you so much for watching. Remember the link to this case will be in the description box along with all the other colors it comes when it's all in one listing and you just pick what you want. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Ciao.